Okay, so this is a quick video explaining how I put together videos. Uh, it's pretty quick, pretty simple uh, after everything gets done. So I'm going to show you where I put my videos, how I convert them, how I splice them with audio, things like that to make a video all together uh, as a whole package. It's pretty simple, pretty easy. If Again, if you have a microphone attached to your computer, like a, a laptop or something like that, this might be exponentially, uh, that's the wrong word, it, it, a lot more easy for you because uh, Freecam actually can use the microphone on your laptop to record what you're saying while you're showing what you're doing on your screen. So this is just for people who are like me, who have a need for uh, splicing together things. Still, very good to have this video editing software because you can cut the time, you can uh, adjust audio, and if you want to put music in, you can do that too with uh, DaVinci Resolve. So um, really quickly, I'll show you uh, what I have up over here. So I have um, two files right now. I have the video I just made. Um, in WMV file and the audio that I recorded for that video here. So these are both together in this and what I'm going to do is I'm going to open up uh, Handbrake here and Handbrake is going to uh, convert my WMV file over to a um, MP4. So I'm going to actually open a new one because I was using it before for a different video. Um, so I'm going to open Handbrake and convert this WMV file here to an MP4. So I just take this video, drop it right here. It scans it, shows me everything here. So it's got previews of everything that went on. So this is all the things that were in that video that you probably, hopefully, just saw. So I am putting it into an MP4 format. Um, audio visual start, that kind of stuff doesn't really matter. So I'm going to uh, keep it as explanation WMV for now. Uh, I want it at um, very fast, general, um, 1080p uh, at 30 frames per second. Um, and then again, going to move it from the cache and stuff in my videos. I'm going to move it to this videos for CIOS file here. Now here's where you can rename it. So I'm going to rename it uh, explanation uh, yeah, explanation and software. Why not? There we go. So it's an MP4 type. Save to videos for CIOS, and I will save that there. So now uh, what this is going to do is it's going to convert it to an MP4 file so I can use it in my uh, DaVinci Resolve uh, project editor. So just hit start encode like that. And then it's going to encode the video. Now it's a longer video, so it might take a while to do it. Um, right here, down here, it's showing the frames per second. So we're at about 35 frames per second in the recording and about 35 frames per second what it's going to come out to uh, after the recording. And then I will show you how I splice the audio uh, in with DaVinci Resolve so that you can see um, how I make these videos. They're pretty simple. Um, this is actually going to take a little bit of time, so I will come back and uh, show you the rest of this when it's finished. Okay, we're just about finished here. Uh, it's finishing up 90% um, finished uh, with this encoding, which will, like I said, um, move the WMV file to an MP4, which is much easier to work with in any kind of video editing software. So that's finishing up, and then I will show you how I put everything together. Again, this is really simple, really easy stuff to do, and... Uh, it just makes it kind of simple for us and simple for our students to watch um, because they don't have to uh, try and find a video. They can just watch us. Either you can watch a video and pause the video and explain things, or 
whatever you need to do. You can do that in the screen recorder and microphone, and then you can edit it, change audio levels and things like that. So you can actually turn your voice up, which will help your students to uh, understand you. So uh, again, going to uh, here, it's finished. I'm going to minimize it. And then if you look here in the videos now, you can see that there is a new video M4V file here. And that's what we're going to use here. So this WMV, we're done with that. You can delete it or you can hold on to it, whatever you feel like doing. But we're finished with that. So I'm going to move this over here and I'm going to bring up DaVinci. So this is the DaVinci thing. And I am going to, here we go here. I'm going to go to File, New Project. I am not going to save the old project. And I'm going to create this new project as is. There we go. So now I'm going to go here. Uh, to edit here on DaVinci Park and that is going to be where we're going to put in video files and audio files uh, things like that so you can go here to media first and put media in your pool now basically what this means is that you take files over here you drag them over here and that's stuff that you can use in your video so you can drag different songs here with your video and then audio files whatever you need here and you can actually like put them all together in different ways um, if you have more time on your hands and you want to get more complicated you can do that I just have two things I have the video and I have the audio from my recording device so I'm gonna pull this over here now the video is in my media pool and you can see that when you go through it it shows everything that I was doing there and then I'm going to bring this here, just like that. So now here is the audio that I talked, uh, what I was saying. And you can hear it. Hopefully you can hear that a little bit. Um, but we don't want to hear that too much. So I'm going to turn, uh, turn this down in my TV here. Uh, so we don't hear all that. Um, so yeah, now you're going to go to edit, like I said. Um, and really easy, you just take... The video put it at uh, put it at you know the very beginning for a second and then you'll see here that there's actually an audio file from the video itself so the blue is the video and then the green is the audio from the video feed so this is where like if you have music in the background on your computer um, I do that sometimes where I'll play music on a you know minimized section so there's music playing and then I can talk over the music turn the music down things like that but for this video, there is no uh, there is no audio. So what I'm going to do is instead of just deleting this audio, I'm going to leave it there so you can see that there are two different types of audio. But now I'm going to go over here to my sound file and I'm going to drag that in right here. So now we have what looks like a completed video. Now I'm going to go to audio one over here on this mixer. Uh, and the mixer you can find... Um, by going to view or uh, clicking other different things like here, um, different things. Uh, but I'm going to go to this audio mixer here and I'm going to turn the audio down for um, this one here, uh, audio one. And so that way it's just there through the whole video, it's not playing. So now I'm going to shut up for a second and we're going to see if this video actually came out all right. So I'm going to turn the TV back up. And let's see if this worked when I hit this play button right here. Hello, welcome to a short video tutorial on the three different parts of software that I'm using to record, uh, put together, and publish videos for my students for these few weeks that we are here under quarantine. So I'm going to show you just a few uh, little places that I went and then I'm going to show you the computer screen. So I went looking for a bunch of different ones and I found a video converter because I switched. All right, that looks like everything is good to go. So I can actually publish this video now. And that's actually, you're looking at the video that you just watched or that you might have just watched. Um, this is me making that video. Um, so kind of meta for you to see me talking about me talking about something, which is uh, 
too much of me, I think. So I'm just going to go ahead and finish this up. So I'm done with this. I, I think everything is together properly. So I'm going to go ahead and say it's good. And I'm going to go to this little part here down here that says deliver. You can see my mouse, uh, my mouse right here on it. So you click deliver and that means like it's ready to go. It's ready to finish. So over here you see no jobs in queue uh, and start render. So what we're going to do is we're going to come over here to this side on the left here. And now it says export video and it's going to give you a format option. Now, again, I would say that your best option is to do an MP4 because almost everything um, from Android, iPhone uh, and all and almost everything can play mp4s or has an app that can play an mp4 so your students should have no problem finding this video watchable so i'm going to click mp4 now you can worry about this resolution and the frame rate and all that stuff if you want to i would say it's not really that important so now again i'm going to go to the file name and i'm going to put uh explanation uh, I have to look over my microphone to type, so that's why um, my voice changes here. Explanation of software. Yay. So that's finished, and I'm going to go to Browse, just like that. And I'm going to go to Videos for CIOS, just like that. And we click Save, so that's where it's going to save it to. And then now that that's all ready, we're going to go to add to render queue. And then you'll see over here on the right side now, you have on title project timeline one, blah, blah, blah. And you click start render. And now this is going to render the whole video, get everything set up, uh, the audio spliced together. Now, I didn't really mess with the audio levels that much for this video because I'm making a video showing you make showing you me making this video. So I think... Uh, if the first video you watched has a little bit of like me being too loud, sorry about that. Uh, hopefully this video will have a little bit better audio render because I'm going to edit, edit this one before I send it out to you. So this was a video, uh, what we got here, bad allocation. See, that's new for me. Um, oh, okay. So it just ended the, ended the screen recording so i'm going to pause this audio recording and i'll come back to you with a uh another uh put together well the magic of recording is that i can splice things together so we have the video finished uh it's rendered over here that's where we were finishing up and i'm going to show you now right here we have the finalized video open it up and now you see that it comes up as one single video file and Whoa, welcome to a short video tutorial on the that you can see here the last thing that over um, my phone because I don't want those are the three software things you need there we go the video is done um, and because of that, you can actually get rid of this and this, uh, if you want to kind of like that, um, over here, you can see, I have this how to video because I actually had to split this into two. Apparently, uh, free cam does have a one gigabyte, um, upper limit, which, uh, I'm recording in 2k or 4k, something like that. So it makes sense that mine would, uh, cut out pretty quickly. So I have a 12 minute about 12 minute recording uh, limit for me, but that should be all I need to record any videos and things like that. So I'm um, just recording a second half of the video to show you that it's finished here. It's openable. Um, it's six minutes, 50 seconds. That's the, uh, the very first video finished and done. And uh, this video will come with it, uh, the how to video. And yeah, it's gonna be pretty easy, I think for you guys, if you want to use this, to get it set up, to get it put together, to put out your videos. Like I said, I made both of these videos in a day. I made them in a very short amount of time in this day. Um, as if you look over at the bottom of my screen, it's 2.30. I think I started the first video at around one. So it hasn't been for too long for me um, to make these videos pretty simple, pretty easy to put them together and export them. So 
that's it. And uh, I hope that this has been helpful. If you have any questions, of course, you can message me on my WeChat. Um, these videos are just for teachers at CIOS. So um, like I said, any and all questions. And of course, uh, if you want to share this with other teachers that are not in uh, freshman oral English, feel free. Um, no problem whatsoever, along with the uh, resource links that I will be giving out too. So that's all I have. I hope that this was helpful. I hope that you guys are uh, gearing up and ready to go for this uh, semester. The, uh, the pressure is on for us to get this all done in a way that is completely new to us. So I hope that this will be helpful for you guys to do explanation videos for your students um, in a quick and easy way. Like I said, three different, uh, three different ap applications you need to install. They don't take up a lot of space on your computer. They don't take up a lot of power from your computer. Um, so hopefully all of this should be really easy for you to do on any device, um, any computer device, I mean. So um, good luck, everyone, in this new semester, and uh, do your best. And that's it. Bye-bye.